Happy Monday, boys and girls. I hope that y'all had a great weekend. I have a special guest with me today for our book reading. This is Cam. Y'all have seen his picture. He's a golden retriever, and he's a big old mess. But he's going to be sitting with us while we read today. And before we get started, I want to show you this funny trick, this joke we like to play on him. All right, let's see if it works. Cam, come here. Hey, who's that? Who's that? Who's that right there? On the computer. Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? <laughs> okay, come on. We like to play that trick on him. Sometimes he sees himself in the mirror and he gets all flustered. But he's a happy dog wagging his tail. And he's going to sit with us today because I have a book that I think you're really going to enjoy. Last week, I read Cats by Gail Gibbons, and this week, I'm going to be reading Dogs by Gail Gibbons. And this book is going to teach us a lot about dogs. I know a lot of you guys have dogs at home, so go get your dog. Sit with your dog while you listen today, and I'm going to see if mine will sit with me. Come here, Kim. Sit down. Sit. Hey, sit. Good boy. Lay down. Dogs by Gail Gibbons. Hold it, maybe like this. Here we go. A dog can be a good pet. It can play with a ball, romp alongside a bicycle, go for a ride in a car, or just be a loyal friend. And if you're loyal, it means you're always there. Dogs are very loyal. The first ancestors of wolves and dogs appear, lived over 50 million years ago. Over time, these creatures developed into wolves. All dogs are descendants of wolves. Wolves and dogs are members of the dog family called Canidae. Both are social animals. Wolves live in groups called packs. About 15,000 years ago, tamed dogs began to live with people and became pets. So when something becomes tamed, it means it can live with people and it can be trained. I love the pictures in these books. There's you, Cam. You don't care. <laughs> Over time, these tame dogs began to look different from wolves. Today, there are different kinds of dogs called breeds. The purebred is a dog whose father and mother belong to the same breed. A dog whose parents belong to two different breeds is called a crossbreed. A mongrel is a mix of many different kinds of dogs. All of these dogs make good pets. Can't see if you got there. We go. That's what Cam. Is. Oh, that's what Cam is. He's a golden retriever. But mixed dogs can be so pretty because they look so different. Some dogs have short legs. Others have long legs. Some dogs are very small. Others can be very large. All dogs have the same basic characteristics. And here we see she's labeled the different characteristics of dogs. Now we saw all of these same characteristics on cats, except one thing that dogs have that I did not remember seeing on a cat is this right here, the muzzle, that's the snout. Dogs have 42 teeth for tearing, chewing, and grinding their food. Four of their teeth are called canine teeth, or fangs. Dogs pant to stay cool. They don't sweat. 
When a dog inhales, it breathes in fresh air through its cool, wet nose. Then it exhales the body's heat through its mouth. I know Miss Faison has a German Shepherd at home. Sniff, sniff. Smell is a dog's sharpest sense. Inside the nose are about 300 million cells that help identify or name odors. A person has about 50 million of these cells. That's why dogs have a better sense of smell than people. A dog can even smell an old bone that's buried two feet in the dirt. Dogs have a keen sense of hearing too. If a dog raises its ears, it is listening to sounds. Often, they are sounds people can't hear. That is because dogs can hear four times better than people. Dogs can't see better than people. In fact, some scientists think dogs see in shades of gray. But they do have better night vision than people. They can spot the smallest movement at a distance in the dark. Most dogs have two coats of fur. The outer fur, called the guard fur, protects a dog against rain or snow. The inner fur, called undercoat, keeps the dog warm. A dog gets some of its sense of touch with its whiskers. The whiskers are connected to many nerves. And right now that it's getting warmer, Cam's undercoat is starting to shed. So we've really been using our broom and our vacuum a lot lately. Dogs don't stand, walk, or run using their entire foot like people do. Instead, they stand on their toes, called paws. The heels of their feet are high up on their legs. Because of this, dogs can run quickly. The fastest dog, a greyhound, can run about 40 miles an hour. The claws are used for gripping the ground and for digging. The pads on a dog's paws act as a cushion. Dogs have ways of communicating or talking when they meet. They stand tall with their tails up and try to stare each other down. They are deciding who is top dog or leader. If one rolls over, it is saying to the other, you're top dog. And here we can see that. The poodle is letting the chow chow be top dog. I've seen dogs do that before. Have you? Dogs communicate in other ways, too. A happy dog wags its tail. An angry dog sometimes bares its teeth. A scared dog holds its tail between its legs, and its ears may go flat against its head. Dogs make different sounds to communicate, too. A scared, restless, or excited dog whines. A woof may be a warning. An angry dog can growl and bark. Sometimes a playful dog barks. A baby dog is called a puppy. The mother dog usually gives birth to one to 12 puppies in a group called a litter. She nurses them. Their eyes and ears open in about two weeks. When they are about three weeks old, they begin to eat solid foods. The puppies now play with each other. They are cute and cuddly. My dog was so cute and cuddly when he was little. He's still cute, my puppy. Our chicken. Between four and 10 weeks of age, Puppies spend most of their time playing and exploring. Most likely a puppy will become a good pet if it is around people at this time. It is learning to be a social animal. The 
best time to adopt a puppy is when it is about eight to 10 weeks old. It is old enough to leave its mother. Sometimes people adopt older dogs that don't have a home and need one. And then Gail Givens, just like in the cat's book, she gives us a page on how to care for a puppy and how to care for an older dog. Close the cat. Oops. I'm not going to read through it, but she gives you some tips on what to do. Because caring for a puppy is very, very different from caring for an older dog. Besides being good friends, dogs help people in many ways. Many blind people depend on the eyes of their guide dogs to see for them. Some dogs help farmers round up sheep in the countryside. Sometimes dog teams pull heavy snow sleds. Police dogs are trained to help solve crimes. Some people have a pet dog to guard the family home. And in class, we've read books about service animals. And we've read articles about working dogs and helping dogs. Sometimes people enter dogs and dog shows. Best dog in the show is the champion. In the United States, there are about 2,000 dog shows a year. Best of all, dogs are wonderful pets, big or small, purebred or mongrel. They can be loyal and good friends. And in the back, she gives us some information on paw prints. Well, these are just different facts about dogs. I'll read a few of them. Most of a dog's growing up is done in the first two years of its life. So by the time they're two, they're grown up. The smallest dog of all is the miniature Chihuahua. It is no bigger than a teacup and can weigh as little as one pound. There are about 35 different kinds of wild dogs, such as the gray wolf, the red fox, the coyote, and others. And she gives some more facts, too, about dogs here. And did you know that there are famous dogs? Here are some famous dogs. Sater was the only one of 50 watchdogs in ancient Greece that survived an attack by invaders. It ran to the gates of his town to warn the citizens. About 150 years ago, there lived a famous St. Bernard named Barry that rescued many people trapped in the snow. About 1,000 years ago, the king of Norway put a dog named Saur on the throne and demanded that it be treated like, loyal, like royalty. <laughs> kind of funny. Leica was the first dog to travel in space. Leica was aboard the Russian satellite Sputnik 2 in 1957. Some dogs are movie stars such as Rin Tin Tin, Lassie, and Beethoven. I know Air Bud's another one that I've seen in movies before. So there you have it. Gail Gibbons has taught us so much about dogs. I hope that you get to spend some time with your dog today if you have one at home. If you don't have a dog at home, maybe consider get, getting one because they're so awesome. They make such great pets. Now I'm going to say goodbye to you and I'm going to see if I can wake Cam up and get him to say goodbye too. Come here Cam. Hey, come on, come on. Say bye. Here, let's try this. Sit. Is he, is he shy? Sit. Go on. Sit. Good. Shake. Okay, now look, who's that? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a great Monday, everybody. Oh, also, I will be sending a link, boys and girls, to your parents in their email, and it's going to be a link setting us up to try Zoom for the first time. I'm going to try to meet with my girls on Zoom tomorrow, which is Tuesday. And then, boys, I'll meet with you guys on Wednesday. So be looking for that email. It's going to have a link 
that you will click and it will tell you what time we're going to try to meet on Zoom. And there may be a few kinks for us to work out because it'll be the first time we've been on it. But I can't wait to see y'all and talk to y'all on that. I really encourage you to try to meet with us on Zoom. Girls tomorrow on Tuesday and boys on Wednesday. See y'all later. Bye.